Hi guys and how are you doing? This is Charya Rahmat and this is the second video of a new series of videos in which we will talk to different quality and food safety experts who are working abroad in the field of food science and technology and quality assurance especially. Today in this video, I have a very special guest with me online, Sayyid Shamoon Ali, who is among the few auditors of SQF in the world. By qualification, he is MSc Food Science and Technology. He was linked and associated with different multinational firms, including SGS and DNV. Currently, he is working as a freelance auditor and trainer uh, for different certification bodies in US. So I welcome you, Sayyid Shamoon Ali, on my channel. Thank you, Mr. Sharyar, for inviting me to your YouTube channel to share my experience and information regarding SQF. How is the weather in US? Yeah, uh, weather in most of the part of United States, it's very cold and uh, in West Coast is very reasonable. We are having like 75 to 80 Fahrenheit, but rest of the United States is very cold. I have a few questions for you. And the very first question, which I myself very interested to know is about SQF. Like what is SQF and what is its importance? SQF, which is also known as safe quality food, uh, which was developed in 1994 in Australia, which was later owned by United States in 2003. So basically, uh, like other food safety standard, SQF is among the GFSI recognized scheme. And uh, SQF has a very unique structure and has a modular approach. So module, module 2 applies to all the food uh, manufacturing facilities in addition to module 2 uh, it has other modules which apply, which are specific gmp and prp programs uh, depending upon what the company produces so uh, sqf uh, is becoming integral part of uh, food safety culture in united states and is giving tough competition to other gfsi scheme what is the criteria for becoming sqf auditor in order to become an SQF auditor, a person must have three basic things, education, experience, and training. In education, a person must have at least a bachelor's degree in sciences, more specifically, food sciences and technology, microbiology, applied chemistry, and biochemistry. In experience, a person must have at least five years of experience in professional or supervisory position involving account accountability and exercise of judgment, for example, working as a quality manager or quality supervisor or production lead in any of the food manufacturing facility. In training, basic uh, requirement is two days HACCP awareness training by any recognized institute. In addition to that, 40 hours of any lead auditor course training. Uh, if you have five days of uh, five days of SQF lead auditor course, then you don't need 40 hours of any GFSI recognized scheme training. So these are the these are the fundamental requirements of becoming an, an SQF auditor. What trainings a food technologist should take if he or she wants to work in US? Yeah, so the basic courses that are required to work in United States in uh, any food manufacturing uh, organization, you have to have a HACCP certificate as well as you need FISMA PCQI certificate, which is mandated by FDA in order to work as a quality manager, quality lead or quality supervisor or even production lead or production manager. How is the job opportunities for FTs in US? Yeah, uh, in United States, job market is fairly good. And uh, in every other state, uh, they always in need of uh, quality professionals and production managers. Uh, and for auditors, certification bodies are always in need of auditors. Uh, I have seen every week they have some position available as a food safety auditor. So job market is fairly good in United States. Thank you so much, Amun, for your time and I wish you all the success. Thank you. Thank you again, Mr. Sharyar, for inviting me to your YouTube channel to share my experience and uh, my insight for SQF. I wish you good luck for your YouTube channel and your journey in food safety.